Watch it. Got a lot of steel to share. Gods be praised. Fighting dragons, and what do I get? Not God as tall, but as man! What is it that you need? Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. What you're asking for... You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? There must be another way. The risk is too great. Alduin. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Spoken like a true Nord. I'll stand beside you, Dragonborn. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. 
Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. According to legend, although I never thought to put the tale to the test, Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor, and brought it back to Whiterun. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? It seems that there's a tranquility. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Yes? 